Good morning, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. It is here in West Michigan. It is a Sunday morning. It's the 27th of February. It's going to 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm down in the dungeon. <laughs> I'm down in the lower level, the library. Well, there's books throughout the house. Upstairs is my study. There's books. Uh, there's books in the living room, bookcase. There's a bookcase of books in the dining room. My wife has a whole room full of books. and But most of my library, my books are down here on the lower level. As you all know, I've over the last six years I've been making videos, I've shown the lower level. And this is where I uh, store my library. And uh, I know it's been three or four days since I made a video. Uh, my It's a Sunday morning, my wife is gone, and she went to church. and So uh, yesterday, which was a Saturday, uh, I went to the Blue Stocking Bookshop here in Holland, Michigan. And uh, I wasn't sure if she was open because she got married, the woman who runs it, and she was on a honeymoon, and she's expanding the store, I told you. She tore down a wall, and now she has a, another whole room to fill with books. And uh, But when I was looking at her website, it said that she had a, a bag sale in... I thought, well, it was like the bag sale. The bag sale was from the twenty, uh, the twenty fourth of March until the first week of the twenty fourth of February. We're in, still in February. This is February the twenty seventh, two thousand twenty two. It is going at nine o'clock in the morning. Well, anyway, the point is that she was having a used book sale. So around 10 o'clock, I drove over there to the Blue Stocking Bookshop, which is North Holland, not maybe five, eight minutes from where we live. And so I went there and there was all these books all around. And so I went through, and this is what I got. And it wasn't a $5 bag sale. It was a dollar bag sale. It was a $5 box sale. If you had a box, you could fill that box up full of books for $5. And if you, these bags, you could fill up for a dollar. So this is what I got for $2 at Blue Stockings Bookshop. And everything I got, I have by other writers or other on the same subject. So I'm not going to talk about what I'm reading lately. I'm not going to show you my diary. I'm not going to give you a commentary on world events. I'm just going to show you the books that I got for $2 at Blue Stockings yesterday to add to my library, to my collections. This is a book by Neil Postman. He wrote a book a couple of years ago that got a lot of a lot of attention and I have his books over there and I forgot to bring them over here but the book he's famous for is Amusing Ourselves to Death uh, so I have a couple of his books but this is a book I didn't have by Neil Postman The Disappearance of Childhood by Neil Postman I have two or three other books of his over there on the far bookcase. So I got that from my Neil Postman collection. And then this is a book I I had, but I, I couldn't find my copy of it when I was so it was called Lectures on Calvinism by Abraham Kuyper. These are uh, lectures that Abraham Kuyper gave at Princeton Six lectures delivered at Princeton University under the auspice of the L.P. Stone Foundation. 
and this is first came out in 1931. <laughs> Abraham Kuyper was a was an internationally esteemed pastor, educator, author, editor, politician. He founded the Free University of Amsterdam in 1880, served from 1901 to 1905 as a prime minister of the Netherlands. I have his book on the Holy Spirit. I have other books by him, but this is his lecture on Calvinism. This is Alberto Eco. As you all know, I collect his writings and I found how to travel with Salmon. What's that? That fish. I can't pronounce it. Solomon? Salmon? Salmon? And other essays translated from the Italian by William Weaver. So this goes into my Alberto Echo collection. This is Amos Oz, who's an Israeli writer. I collect him. His writings are down there, but these are her. The story begins, Essays on Literature by Amos Oz. This is uh, Essentials of Christian Theology, edited by William C. Platcher. I have a couple books by Platcher, and uh, I don't... It looked kind of interesting. Uh, some of these... It's published by... Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I got a two dollar bag sale. You know, I like reading about systematic theology and I just just grabbed it. So I got that. And John Moramire the third Rampo on a bus. As you I have a huge John Motor John Moramire collection as you've all seen over the years. These are like his Anabas. These are uh, Rampo in the Age of Miracles, Rampo in La Carte, Rampo in the Angel of Death. You've all seen these uh, on book two. This is the, the 60s, From Memory to History. These are essays edited by David Fraber. This goes into my 1960s collection over there. These are different uh, essays on the 60s, like uh, Mary Shealy McMahon, The American State in the Vietnam War, uh, Terry H. Anderson, The New American Revolution, Beth Bailey, The Sexual Revolution. Uh, this ain't just about the 60s. This is a book by George M. Marsden, who's a, a, a church historian, intellectual. This is the soul of the uni American University, from Protestant establishment to established non-belief. Uh, I just showed you his biography on Jonathan Edwards, I think. It looks almost brand new. It goes for $17.95 <laughs> and I got it for almost nothing. Uh, he wrote a book on the history of evangelicalism. He's written a lot of books uh, on American Christianity. Yeah, he wrote Fundamentalism in the American Culture, The Secularization of the Academy, Understanding Fundamentalism and Evangelicalism. Anyway, I got this. And then I picked up uh, an Europia. As you all know, I collect Europia. This is by Andrea Camilleri. He wrote, he writes those series of detective novels, but he also writes individual novels called The Revolution of the Moon. It's kind of like historical fiction. Uh, it says here that the revolution of the moon lightly but eloquently revives the obscure historical moment. A European historical footnote becomes a contemporary morality tale and a small touching act of homage. I don't know. I collect his writings. 
and uh, I, pick, I just picked up another novel of his used and this is translated out of the Italian by Stephen Sartelia. And then I picked up Man and Ethics Studies in French Classicism by Paul, I can't pronounce it, <coughs> excuse me, um, Ben, I don't know, but it's translated out of French by Elizabeth Hughes, Studies in French Classicism. One thing about this, I almost threw it away because it's all underlined. But I figured I don't have any book like this that I can remember. It's all underlined. But I can suppose I can live with it. And then I got, I have this book already in my library and I wasn't sure. So I'll probably put this in, in my van and all the books and I might take it to the book nook tomorrow, The Fall of the Ottomans, The Great War in the Middle East by Eugene Rogan. Yeah, I had this already, but I wasn't sure. And so I got this. This goes into uh, what's going on right now in the Balkans, there in Ukraine. I collect books on Berlin, Germany, <laughs> and I found this one by Paul Schreider. Schneider, Berlin in in Berlin now the city after the fall, translated by Sophia Scoffendorf. Yeah, it's a. It's hard to answer the question of why Berlin has become one of the most popular cities in the world. It's not on account of its beauty. Berlin is not beautiful. What attracts visitors to Berlin seems to be what they find missing and so many of the other major great cities of the world. The weirdness, the perpetual incompleteness of a city, condemned forever to becoming never and to being. Condemned forever to becoming and never to being. Blending history, journalism, and personal memory, Peter Schneider Berlin t now takes us to this fascinating and perfect place divided in 1961 and reunited in 1989 to reveal the inside story of the singularly vibrant city in a constant state of transformation. I don't know, I collect books on Berlin, I don't know. This is A History of the Black Sea by Neil Ackerson, which is also right now is in the news because of Ukraine, the Crimea, the Black Sea. This is A History of the Black Sea, European history. And then I picked up this book, uh, Civilization of Europe and the Renaissance by John Hale. John Hale is an authority on the Renaissance. He's written a number of books, England and the Italian Renaissance, Machiavelli and the Renaissance Italy, Renaissance Europe, 1480 to 1520, Florence and the Medici, The Pattern of Control, 1977, Italian Renaissance painting, 1977. Uh, War and Society and Renaissance, Europe, 18, 1985. Artists in Warfare in the Renaissance, 1990. He's an authority on the Renaissance. So this is the Civilization of Europe and the Renaissance by John Hale. And this is a book on the suffrage movement in America Shoulder to Shoulder, a documentary by M Mitch, Midge, Midge Mac Mackenzie, stirring history of the militant suffrage, the voices, the face, the deeds, the memories, and the personal testimony of remarkable men who, women who fought and won the battle for the vote. It's, it's like a documentary. It has all these old photos of these suffrage, the women who and suffrage movement. Uh, it's like a history of that, which is very interesting. Uh, so, as you all know, I collect books on feminism, feminist writers, the feminist movement, suffrage, 19, 
century, 20th century history in America. This is Percival Irvitz's novel er Erasure. Uh, it's kind of bent up, but I just grabbed it because I have another novel of his that I can't find, but this is the novel that he's most famous for. Uh, so that's why I picked this up. And uh, another book I got, the last book, is an example. You know, I talk about collections. I get books to go in my collections. And I got this book. The, the novels of Herman Hess, a study in the study, a study in the theme and structure by Theodore Zanzgrowski. So this goes into my Herman Hess collection, and this is my Herman Hess collection. Just to show you, I have Siddhartha by Herman Hess, Steppenwolf by Herman Hess. Herman Hess, Beneath the Wheel. Herman Hess, Narcissus and Goldman by Herman Hess. Gertrude by Herman Hess. This is a book, uh, Pictoras, Metaphorsis and Other Fantasies by Herman Hess. The Glass Bead Game by Herman Hess, which I have read a couple of times over the years. Herman Hess, Collection of Critical Essays by Theodore Zankowski, who did this. So these go together. This is Herman Hess, Demian. Emil Sinclair's Youth by Herman Hess. Herman Hess, Strange News from Another Star by Herman Hess. Faith from the, Faith from the Abyss, Herman Hess, Way from, Way from Romanticism to Modernity by Ernest Rose. This is Herman Hess, Rose Shell. These are all been translated out of German, if I'm correct. Yeah, these are all translations. This is Herman Hess, Journey to the East. Another edition of Siddhartha and the Penguin Classics by Herman Hess. Another copy of Siddhartha by Herman Hess. I read this in high school and I've read it a couple of times over the years, the last 50 years. And then I think last year or the year before, let's see, this came out in, well, no, this came out in 2018. This is a biography in Herman Hess, The Wanderer in His Shadow by Gerner Decker, translated by Peter Lewis. So this is a biography in Herman Hess. So everything goes into collections. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I have a Herman Hess collection. I don't have his poetry, but I'm looking for it. <laughs> So that's my uh, Blue Stocking uh, used book sale haul I got for two nine. It was a dollar ninety seven for those books, and uh, I don't have any other. I have new books have coming had come in the mail. I mentioned last week and just a couple things. Uh, so I just thought I'd show you these books so I can put them away, put them in their, in their, disperse them throughout the lower level. I thought I'd show you the lower level since it's sunny and the windows are open. So I'll just show you the lower level 
So some of you are new, might not know what it's like in here. So I thought I'd show you, you know, it's like what it looks like. See, there's the lower level and there's books here. That's the lower level. And then you have, you know, books in between. And, you know, books, it's kind of dark. There's books there. And, and as you go here, the lower level, you know, there's books here, you know, books here. And then there's books here. And then it goes back this way. And then you have the lower level. See, you talk about collections. Like this is my my Timothy Leary Timothy Leary collection. Well the beats. You have Timothy Leary, Politics of Fantasy by Timothy Leary. Timothy Leary, Jail Notes, Introduction by Allen Ginsberg. Timothy Leary, Turn On, Tune In, Drop Out. Uh, Timothy Leary, The Psychedelic Experience. This is a biography on Timothy Leary. No, I think this is by Timothy Leary, High Priest. Timothy Lear, this is a biography, autobiography, flashbacks, an autobiography by Timothy Leary. Then you have, I Have America, Surround a Life of Timothy Leary by John Higgs. And then you have The Most Dangerous Man in America, Timothy Leary, Richard Nixon, and the Hunt for the Fugitive King of LSD by Bill Modengaya and Stephen L. Davies. And then you have the Timothy Leary Project, Inside the Great Counterculture Experiment, Jennifer Hurick. And then you have the Harvest Psychedelic Club by Don Layton. How Timothy Leary, Ram Das, Houston Smith, and Andrew Will, Will killed the 50s and ushered in the new age of America. And then you have Timothy Leary, a biography by Robert Greenfield. And then you have Timothy Leary looking outside in edited by Robert Ford. These are uh, different articles on Timothy Leary. So that's my Timothy, see how that's kind of saying, I collect things. And, you know, there's books back here. You know, there's books here. And then you go down here. Our books, I've seen these books. And then you go in the back room, put on the light, and then there's books here. See, there's all books here. Up here's all my beat collection. Honor S. Thompson, Ginsburg, Kerouac. And there's uh, T Anthony Trollope, and up there's all Norman Mailer, and you have, uh, just goes on and on. These are all books, books, books. These are all books, These are Christian books. These are all my New York Review books up there. Theology, Puritanism. So this is a lower level book room. And you go here and this is where I hang out when I am down in the dungeon. So 
that is the, this is the lower level hope you had a good week do pray that for Ukraine pray for the Russian people Ukrainian people pray for the world hope you have a good new week I know we're going into the new month do pray that the month of March might bring peace to the world uh, also I noticed uh, I I'm not getting all the comments below my videos I have to hunt for them but I want you to know I appreciate all comments. I try to respond to all of them. And I do pray for you guys. And I pray, like I said, I pray for the world, <laughs> mankind. But I do thank you for all the comments. Thank you for your prayers, your blessings, your support, your encouraging words, your kind words, your gracious words. I thank you. Do pray for me. I'm praying for you. I hope you have a good new week. And until next time, bye.